Let's go here. Try and keep it as simple as possible. Try not to do any blobs. When you're actually in the game, you don't think you're blobbing though. That's the thing. I think blobbing is leaving this here, isn't it? Or we could just come back for an exchange of some sort, couldn't we? What are we creating for ourselves? Problems? Let's go here. A bit congested. Yeah, creating problems for ourselves already. Look at that. It's coming in. So tuck the night. Can't do that. It's going to get the bishop though, isn't it? Really? Could go here, but that's dancing too much with it, isn't it? Then it comes back around it and attacking it here. Push here. He's pushing onto the bishop. Go here, attacking the knight. Gives us something to do. Let's do that. See if we can get castled. And he's opening up for his bishop. All right, so we could attack their bishop. Could bait a pawn. Going to bait a pawn. Then the knight has to go on the inside. Yeah, let's do that. Going to double the pawns up. Or should I just come here nice and steady first? Let's go here. We do like doing that sort of stuff, but we've got to refrain from... Because the computer thinks they're blobby moves. So we shall just um, wait and see. Let's take. That's simple enough. Castle. That looks straightforward enough to me. Could push onto this pawn here. When I'm doing evaluation, loads of times it's saying, push this pawn, push this pawn. But it doesn't mean it's the identical position that. So we're going to go with it anyway. I'm going to push here. Got two pieces on the palm. Probably not going to take. So then we waste time going and hitting the queen. And the queen seems happy just to go away. So do we do that? Yeah, look, it's just sitting there waiting, baiting us to go. Which is a bit annoying, really. Could attack the bishop. Where is it going? Let's attack the bishop. Just leave this hanging for a bit. It's gone right into the corner. And tempting. Obviously, the pawn is going to come and hit it. Push. Let's just push. I don't like doing it. It's like it just sits there and waits for you to push it. Yeah. So it's got all this area to come down and hit now. Mm -hmm. Knight takes, queen takes. Push this. Oh, push this. Can't push this. It's got like two pieces on there. I'm going to push this palm. Still got space for the knight to come. Oops, come back down. Steady with the arrows, dude. So this might be too much already because there's nothing clear. And I don't really like games like this where it's not that clear. I end up losing out positionally. Going to take. Going to attack the bishop. I didn't put much thought into it because it looked pretty straightforward. It's kind of what you're kind of subliminally seeing. If, you know, you think, well, if they do that, I can just do that pretty simple. So what weaknesses do we have? This pawn is weak, really. It's like backward and knights jumping in here is going to be safe as anything. We don't have anything to stop it from sitting there. So it's going to sit there for the rest of the game. Ah. So if we can bring this knight around and then come here, then at least this can take it off the board. I'm going to bring it around. 
it's just gonna sit there yeah I'm just bringing it around attacking it we don't want it sitting there forever it's too strong in my head anyway yes we get it off the board all right so this looks a little bit dry what do we want to do hit the pawn comes down improve the queen queen could end up sitting here couldn't it type situation let's go here probably just going for dryness and blocking also supporting oh no 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 what's going on so we're going for some massive trades then or do we push if we push he can push down onto the queen massive trades it's going to upset my little center here Might be owning the file with the rook, I'm not sure. Does he push past? But I think massive trades are coming in. We go boom, we go boom. No, nobody's owning the file. He comes down, takes, king takes, queen comes across. Yeah, bit of a dodgy one. Bit of a dodgy one. let's attack maybe the queen takes rather than the king so at least we don't give the queen the tempo unless of course his pawn structure is better and he's going to trade down the queen as well so if he does take queen takes does he go for the trade I don't think he's going for the trade is he it captures but we lose out somehow they're moving a bit quick oh he's going for it okay so his king's gonna be one step ahead of us because he's moved up one already i don't think we're gonna if we get to here then maybe we can we're not gonna get there are we damn if we push this then it's stopping his king from getting to there I think that's a crucial area um, and my king is just behind it's too behind he's coming here damn oh, maybe I don't need to worry too much just bring my king across and he has to go back here so he can't really get down here is he going to push his before we get to ours? But we can put a check on his king. And he's going backwards, which is what we want. But I think it's going to be a Zugs Wang. Uh, just need to get my king here. If we hit his king, right, hit his king, he goes here. We come here. Then he take. oh, we need to push this pawn. We need to push this pawn if he takes them at least we're still blocking here there must be a plus with us having this position because he's gonna have to come back here isn't it all we want is to get here but then if he gets his pawn down then we can't go here and he wins the song he wins the zugs one But we'll have this pawn here, won't we? So we could take. So if we. <gasps> he's going for it. I think we're going to lose out, you know. Then he moves. That's not important, is it? Push. He either goes here or goes back. Our king comes here. Is he thinking long term? King comes here. So he could be able to go one, two, three, all the way around. 
he's got a space to come to here. Let's block that off. But now he gets to move, so we have to push. We have to push onto the king. He moves. If we move here, his pawn drops down. We take, and his pawn takes, and he's got a check on us, and then that's it. Oh, he's got the draw. So we're going for a draw, as it looks like. Well, not going for a draw, it is a draw. Is there any magical moves? There isn't any, is there? Let's just go here. They might not do it, they might do it wrong. No, they haven't done it wrong. Boom. I wonder if it shows on the small screen. I've always wondered, aren't I, if they're offering a draw or not, because they might be offering now. And I'm ignoring it and they're laughing at me. See, what's this? Where's he going? Can't go in here. Can't go down here. It's just, it probably has to offer the draw. Because I thought it would show up on the screen if they did. So let's just go here. There we go, draw by repetition. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, we didn't do any blobby type stuff in there. Probably did towards the end game. But it might have been ours. I think we had a little bit of a press. I think we had a little, oh, does it show the gauge bar on here? Let's... Boom, 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 boom. Is it moving? Take the pawn. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> oh. Would somebody give me strength? In the game, I'm thinking there's no way he can do that. It's just going to have to just protect it. I'm giving him free linked pawns. But that's basically saying, well, no, you're winning. Hey, interesting times. I like that. Oh, so simple. Good. Still showing 1.3. So that's better than nothing. So do we just push here now? Or is it this one? I'm gonna get it wrong, Anna. I? I would plump for this one. But then he just drops here, so maybe it's this one. Oh, it's happy as Larry 1.5. Oh what do they do? Do they go? You'd think they'd go with this one, wouldn't you? But that's taking that away from that. Mm, but then this is fast as well. Because they went like that. Ooh, it's not, not having any of that. So if we take, then they take. These pieces look faster than ours. I mean, we've got the king, but the king's protecting this pawn. And then we push. And then logically they want to push. One, two, three. You know, it's still, whew, I'm still struggling. I think they're going to get theirs, aren't they? So they've pushed. So then if we push again, they push. Are we close enough? Then we move the king. And they push. And then the king can take. And he's going to take ages. And this pawn's going to get promoted. The king's on the other side of the board. Push. They push. Get the king across. They push. Bring it down. Oh, dude. Lessons learned. Small details. Yeah, nothing stopping that. <laughs> oh, brilliant. And this is kind of how ridiculous these um, accuracy performance type game review things are. Um, we've just played this game and, we're, and it's, it's a draw. 
and have a look at the percentage score on that. 93.5 accuracy for me and 93.9 for the opponent. That's absolutely ridiculous. Do you know what I mean? I and mean, we were just playing a normal game there. We ended up getting a draw. And when you look at that, you think, wow, that's extremely good. Made some blobs. And the end game was not done to perfection. And I've picked up a lovely tidbit from that. And it's really just sitting back and having a look at that pawn structure. I like working on the end games. We've been doing really quite a half decent job of our end game structures. And that one, I think, just caught me by surprise. I didn't think, I didn't think long enough and hard enough and positionally. I just thought there's no way made. We may as well just go and lock it down as best possible. And that is my, the way my brain would think. It's it, well, okay, let's just lock it down. But I didn't need to. But it is scary. That end game to me was scary. Looking at the evaluation and then breaking it down for ourselves. So hopefully, maybe going forward, we might take that chance. It's not even a risk because at the end of the day, it's quite clear the benefits of that type of end, end game if I had followed it up. It's just that I've reverted to, let's just keep it drawn. It is drawn. Go for the draw. When really there was a potential, uh, there was a win, not a potential win. But these things here, these accuracy things, you've got to take them with a pinch of salt really you have to look at your game what you did in the game and from that point on then you know this is good it's showing that we didn't do anything wrong you know majorly wrong and just played a normal game but still yeah maybe they should get rid of it 